Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to keep a man interested in you. And so I'm going to give you uh, four very important things to do to keep a man interested. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you go and hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So let's get started. So there are a lot of reasons why a guy might lose interest in a woman and not all of them have to do with you. Um, but I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep a guy interested uh, with things that you specifically can do. So tip number one is to learn to become in sync with him. And so uh, what this really means is that there's there's a lot of there's a couple of different aspects to this. One is, uh, his communication, right? And uh, I, I know that there are some women out there that um, are just totally oblivious to everything going on around them. Um, but a lot of women are very intuitive and they, they kind of have this uh, really great secret of, uh, or this like super, I like to call it a superpower, this super power of being intuitive and being able to read things and understand and get subtle nuances with body language and uh, people and stuff like that. And if you can get into a guy's subtle nuances and really start to get him, get to understand what's going on with him, like you can just kind of feel what's going on with him. You can start to understand his language and start speaking his language. That can be a really, really powerful thing to do. Um, there are other types of ways of being in sync too, uh, some that we're going to talk about a little bit here in a minute. Um, but one of them is um, uh, just uh, like uh, th there's this thing that um, this relationship coach used to teach. Um, and I can't rem remember who it is anymore, but, um, it was really, really powerful. And what you do is you kind of sync your breath with your partner, like when you're laying together or something and you just get on the same kind of beat with each other. And that's another really, really, it, it's, it seems almost like what what is that what does that do but it, it's it's this um it's a really powerful way of getting it, it almost it's almost like this emotional or spiritual way of getting onto the same page with each other tip number 2 is to learn to enjoy some of the things that he enjoys um so a, a really powerful way of being able to connect with a man that a lot of women don't really get or understand is uh, being able to just hang out with him and not even necessarily converse or talk to each other. And for a guy, this is this can be really, really powerful. A lot of guys really love this and um, a lot of them uh, wish that they had women that would be able to do this. So like uh, uh, the classic example is like going fishing with him and just, just hanging out there and not even talking or, or, you know, watching something with him or uh, do, doing something with him, hanging out with him and just being there with him during some type of activity or habit or thing that a uh, hobby that he has that he really loves. And, uh, um, you being a part of it without necessarily digging into it um, can be just incredibly attractive to a guy, especially uh, uh, putting you into this category of somebody that he wants to be with long term. So tip number three is to, um, it's, it's, it's called mirroring. And what you want to do is when he's hot, you want to be hot. And when he's cold, you want to be cold. And one of the biggest uh, mistakes a lot of women make uh, with guys is when a guy pulls back, they try to like go forward. But instead, what you want to do is if he uh, moves closer, you want to move closer. And if he pulls back, you want to pull back and just let it, you know, let it uh, be more of a mirror than it is um, than, than a chase. Because if, if he starts pulling back and getting cold and you chase him, that's really unattractive. Um, a lot of guys need independence. They need space. They need time to themselves. They need time to recharge by themselves in isolation. And you want to be able to give a man that if that's something that he needs. Tip number four is connecting with his family and falling in love with his family or specifically his mom, but not becoming his mom. 
not trying to replace his family. What a lot of guys really want is for you to be like a part of the family and a part of, or, or, you know, depending on the way that he sees it, maybe his friends or his family, but they, he wants you to be a part of that, not the replacement of that. And a lot of women try to kind of replace that or, um, they fall into like this mother category and it just, it turns out bad from there. So what you want to do is become a part, you know, learn to love his family, learn to become a part of it. Um, but not to try to replace it. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.